In this video, I'm going to be breaking down a shallow crossing type of concept or just a simple slant post read that is going to be able to beat every defense in the game. And the really cool part about it is we're going to tee this up for you in a way that it's actually going to be able to manipulate zone drops in pretty much any zone of the game as well. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to this channel. And it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the channel. Now the route concept that we're gonna be utilizing again is a true read where we're trying to really leverage the power of the slant post concept. And really the true way this is kind of taught is a shallow cross, a little bit different in terms of how we're gonna make it better for Madden. So really excited to share this with you. This is out of Trips Tied In. And again, if you're new to the channel, hit the sub button. We're on our way to 30,000 subscribers. Also wanna let you know that if you wanna get all of my Madden 22 eBooks, I have one place that gets you access to everything, and that's my Patreon membership. For just $10 a month, you're gonna get access to 18 offensive and defensive eBooks, over 100 exclusive updates that we've released throughout the course of the year that make those eBooks even better. And then also you're gonna be able to get access to any new eBooks that we release while your membership is active. So literally $10 a month unlocks everything if you want to sign up for that i would really encourage you to do so it's a great way to support me but it's also a great way for you to be able to get better at this game there's a link in the description if you want to sign up for that and again it's only 10 bucks uh, to do just that now the concept we're going to talk about today is a slant post a little variation of it and it's really something that's designed um to really it's almost window dressed if you will it's almost a window dressed version of a slant post and the reason why i call it a window dressed version is because we're gonna use motion to kind of tee it up and uh, and make it really, really good. Make the slant route portion of this really, really good. So PA counter go is the concept. And what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna post our tight end. So you do need tight end apprentice or um, hot route master. If you don't have tight end apprentice to play Pat's white in, the route to the tight end is basically a post. So you can always just use that as well. Again, I'm in the New England Patriots playbook. So we post our tight end. Then what we wanna do is we want to slant the inside slot, which in this scenario is gonna be Chris Godwin. The next thing that we wanna do with this is we're gonna actually motion our outside slot, and as soon as we motion him, we're gonna put him on a smoke screen. So you see right here, he's on a smoke, and we're gonna snap the ball right about here, and what you're gonna notice is this little glitchy motion snap is gonna hold every underneath zone that you can think of. It held, held a quarter flat out of that. Now we're gonna show you a uh, cover three coverage where it's gonna hold the curl flat. Again, you're just, once you motion him, you put him on the smoke, snap him at the numbers right there. Watch that curl flat just sink, 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 sink. And I can throw that slant right over the top. Now, what is the number one zone that people are gonna wanna utilize when they're defending underneath passing routes? Where they're gonna wanna use yellow zones and they're gonna wanna use curl flat zones. Now let's jump down to the Mike Blitz 3 and I'm going to use a vertical hook and a seam flat. Now this is probably the best way the defense can defend this but again you're going to see the smoke is really going to attract some zone coverage to it and what you'll see here is the slant on the sideline is going to get open on the cross which is exactly what we want. Um, so what this basically means um, in the simplest way that I could say it is by utilizing the smoke it makes the slant borderline unguardable. They're gonna have to probably use it. Um, a cloud flat, like a stock cloud, um, does decent, but notice again, it's, see how it's sitting there? See how it's literally sitting in the middle of the field and on the sideline, you can hit the slant repeatedly over and over again against that. So that was a, um, a cloud flat out of a cover three look. Now I wanna show you a cover two look. Now I will say cover two is decent, but there's so much we can do to obliterate cover two out of this, it's not even funny. And what you'll also see is once again, see how the slant is getting open. We're manipulating every single zone with this smoke. And that's what's really cool about this concept because it is a motion over. And we do have a lot of concepts out of trips that utilize this two by two set look or this two by two motion. So it's natural fitting within the concept. It's also a great man beater. As you can see, that's man coverage. The slant gets open against man and we're able to beat it. So this is truly one of my favorite, favorite plays because they have to do so much stuff to guard the slant. They have to basically user it. They have to basically user it. And the problem with them or with the defense is if they have to user a slant route, good luck. Like good luck guarding everything else. Um, so, and, and I'll show you what I mean by that in just a second. But let me show you one more time. This is a cover three with two seam flats 
and um, with the vertical hook. Watch the slant, and you see pass lead outside, it gets open. There's nothing that guards this thing. And that's what really makes this so good, because we still have incredible pass protection with the play action animation. We still have a post to the tight end. We still, if we have outside apprentice, and we talked a second ago about cover two, we still, if we have outside apprentice, we don't have a problem with putting a smart routed post out there. So we got an outside apprentice post now, and you go through, and all of a sudden, you're bombing them over the top because they've got to go use the slant. They have to go use the slant, which opens everything else up. So cover two is not really a great, um, is not really a great option for them. And then one other thing I did want to say about cover two real quick, you can actually change this concept up if you want. So what you can do is you can streak Scotty Miller and then you can uh, motion Evans and then put him on the smoke. When you do that, what it does, it sucks the cloud flat inside, as you can see right there. Now that cloud flat that was disrupting the tight end doesn't go guarding, it actually leaves him. And now that is wide open on the sideline as well. So if you want to manipulate the cover two that way, you certainly can. There's nothing stopping you. Everything else is still going to basically apply. If you do have a, let's say for example, that you have a hot route master quarterback and you want to try to put a skinny post in the slot like that, that's not a terrible idea. Um, I will say against cover two, it sometimes doesn't work because of the spacing. It's just not quite as good. So that's just something you have to be aware of. Um, it just doesn't work quite as good in the bomb concept of this. But um, this beats everything, man. This is one of my this this right here. You have to run this play more. Like no, I don't know of anyone at a trip tight end that runs this concept. I really don't. And this this smoke is insane. Like literally, it just glitches every zone of the game and you all your slant is almost always there literally almost always there and then on the loud side here now what you've done is you've created a significant amount of space for your skinny post to be able to manipulate the whole side of the field so you've got a lot of room over there and then this i'm just telling you this thing right here is so good and then if you let's say you get out of pocket well you can playmaker this up and you can try to hit that you know against zone if it breaks down now, let me give you a better example than what i just did but let's say for example that Let's say they're doing uh, Mabel, and they're going to use her the tight end. Let's just say, hypothetically, and they get a three wreck in the middle. So something like this, okay? Um, when you motion the smoke, so you go through your read progression, and you mess up on the slant. You don't hit it, even though it's wide open. You motion out. Now, playmaker up. Watch this. The smoke screen is kind of like the delay fade. And as you can see right there, and I know, I'm pretty sure AntCap did a video covering this as well, but... That's a great little play, but what I really like about this more so than the fact that it can be like a delay fade is the fact that it literally glitches every zone in the game. Literally every zone in the game will not be able to guard the slant. If you snap it right on the numbers, it just sits right there. Watch, it just frees the zones. And if it doesn't, then you can just hit the smoke. If it doesn't, you can just hit the smoke. But it really does put people in a tough position because they have to they have to most of the time use or that. And then if they can't... Um, there's a lot else open. So you see, see, watch that. Look at that curl flat just suck in, and that's wide open right there for you. So this concept, I can't say enough about it. Please try it out. I really think you're going to love it. Um, if you want another way to run this, um, what you can do is you can, again, just simply streak Miller and what that's going to do for you. If they're running a lot of cover two, this is a great way to run the same thing, basically. Um, but what you'll see here is the streak doesn't – the cloud – is not gonna it's not gonna get back even though it did right there because I had an inaccurate let me show you that again but the cloud is not gonna get anywhere near the tight end uh, if you have some if you have some time in the pocket so again you're just boom boom you still have the smoke slant concept on the back side there and you see here boom no no but look left look there see how it comes up and that's wide open so I mean it's it's a really good setup it's a really, really good setup. So I would I would really encourage you to try it out. It beats man coverage. It beats zone coverage. It beats match coverage. It's really hard to use her. And um, this is this is this is probably one of my favorite plays right now. So please try this out. This is out of Trips Tied In in New England. Like I said in the beginning of the video, if you want to get all my ebooks, I've got 18 of them in the Patreon. By joining it for just $10 a month, you get access to everything. All 18 ebooks, all exclusive updates to those ebooks, all the pro player breakdowns private messaging platforms that we have within there so you can get your questions answered 
as well as any new ebooks while your membership is active. So if you want all of that content to help you become a better Madden player, look no further than our Patreon. There's a link in the description below where you can sign up for that for just $10 a month. Thanks for watching. And if you want to get the Patreon membership, head on down to the description below and click the link down there for you.